Hello. Um, got a couple of things on my agenda tonight. First of all, I'm going to be taking these uh, gaps here, these gaps and ties, where I uh, soldered fear wires to my track. I'm going to be putting ties underneath. And the way I do it is I cut some ties off of some scrap track, sand them down so they're thinner, cut the tie plate detail off, and then just slide them underneath. Uh, so you'll see how I do that. But uh, another thing I'm going to do is a little bit of an experiment. Last time I left off, uh, I think I mentioned I was going to try something different when it comes to ballasting. Uh, I've had some people comment that my ballast seems to be way too heavy, and I have to agree with that. And um, I think part of the problem is I tried to put too much on to cover up the rail, uh, the roadbed profile completely and it doesn't really get completely covered unless I put a whole ton on, ton on it. So I'm going to do something different this time. I'm going to uh, lay some glue along the edge of the roadbed and then sprinkle some ballast and basically, you know, get uh, the roadbed, the sides of the roadbed, ballasted. And then uh, well, with the leftovers, uh, probably sweep it up towards the center and towards the top. And hopefully I'll get uh, the roadbed profile covered adequately, but not with such a uh, tremendously thick layer of ballast. So, so I want to go ahead and do that. I'll do that on a small test section just to see how that turns out. So um, this is probably about as good a place as any right here. So uh, I'm going to be using a, a fine Woodland Scenics ballast, brown. So use a fine ballast for the mountain main line, and then I also have a main yard main line. I'm going to use uh, green, ah, not green, um, gray ballast for that. So that'd be kind of interesting, green ballast. So I've got a mixture of uh, glue and water, probably a little bit heavier on the glue, uh, maybe like 60% glue, 40% water, and then a couple of drops of dishwashing detergent to uh, break surface tension. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just lay a bead alongside here like that. I'm going to take a brush, just kind of make sure I got the glue spread up on the road bed. So I want the stuff to be a little bit thicker so the ballast will adhere to it. And this is probably going to take me a little bit longer to do using this method, but I hope uh, the results come out better than they have in the past. Well, so let me take a little spoon here. Just shake a little bit on there. Then what I'll end up doing is uh, I'll sweep the excess ballast up towards the center, put a little bit in the center, and uh, have it go over the tie, the ends of the ties here a little bit, and hopefully that will um, give me a little bit more realistic ballast profile of the excesses that I've had in the past. So uh, just let that dry, let that dry overnight, and we'll see, we'll see how that works. But now to putting the ties underneath where I've got my uh, feeder lines sorted to the track. So I'm going to take uh, cut some of this track off here. I usually cut them in groups of four. for now. I've got some 100 grit sandpaper and if this stuff breaks apart like that I usually it's not a big deal. I can plenty of that stuff left. Left over and I'm gonna remove the uh, spike detail off the top with my X-Acto knife. So I want this to be able to slide this underneath the rail and this uh, will get covered up by ballast so the fact that I cut the tie plates off, I mean the uh, spike detail. OK, 
Okay. I've got a piece of uh, 100 grit sandpaper. I'm going to take my finger and just uh, oops, rub it lightly like that. What I'm going to do is sand off the back of it a little bit, make this thin this down so I can uh, slip it under those rails. Enough, what it looks like when it's all sanded down like that. More than it is to see in the light, but uh, okay, I'm gonna take this piece over here and uh, why don't I slide it underneath? Try sliding it underneath here. Got a nice spot underneath. I think that this will fit fine. Push, push it underneath like that. See? Along with my X Acto knife, pushing it under. Make sure you sand off enough so you don't uh, have the rail bow up here. I think this is okay. Here, use your X Acto knife to move it in place. usually uh, use glue to hold it in place because once uh, I get the ballast down on here with the uh, delete glue, deli glue that'll cover it up nicely and it'll hold it in place so uh, I don't use any, use any glue at all here so I'll go ahead and take care of the other ones This one I'm gonna have to I can use four ties, but I'm gonna have to uh, split this in half. Oof, how's this gonna fall? How's this gonna turn out? Might have to do this. So I put two in here, it's gonna make too close of a gap. on this side and we'll see I got it to work go ahead and cut this little piece off let's put it here separate pieces now. All right, let's go back over here. Let's see how well two will fit over here on this side. And that's gonna, that's gonna be a problem here. I'm gonna have to take one out and we put the other ones underneath there. The other two. this up against there. So I'm gonna have to cut one off and just stick one in there and I think that'll have to it'll have to work. I mean once I get uh, once I get the ballast thrown on there it should kind of cover things up that the, maybe the tie spacing is a little bit wide there but uh, we'll make that work.
Okay, now I've got uh, all the track underneath all the gaps in the area I'm gonna be scenicking. So next up is I will see how my little experiment is doing um, tomorrow, and then uh, I'll go ahead and uh, put down some more ballast and finally get uh, the rest of the trees up here. Okay, now that I've let this little uh, test section dry for a day, I end up with something that is much less out of control than what I've done in the past. I don't have these piles and piles of ballast everywhere. And, uh, clung to the sides of the row bed very nicely and uh, so when I put more ballast down the middle it can be a lot more sparing. Because before I would uh, put a whole mound of ballast in the middle and then have it push over the top of the rails and down the sides of the uh, road bed and that's how it would balance the track and uh, here this way I can uh, put less ballast on have things a little bit more under control 